thought they were going to shit in a urinal. God, what are you, in college? No, it was a South Park reference to New York. We don't want another 9 11 incident. <laughs> Can you explain the that in the context kiss. of South Park? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> there was an episode dedicated to spoofing to Hardy Boys. Okay. About uh, who took the deuce in a urinal. Yeah. yeah. So and it, uh, it all led to a 9 11 conspiracy. But then it was revealed that it was the urinal deuce into the uh, other one was completely innocent. It was basically the joke of it was is that it was a messy shark. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> the joke was is that after Kyle got so wrapped up in a huge conspiracy theorem, he then started wondering who do, who did 9 11. And then the Hardy Boys were like, just a bunch of pissed off Muslims. Don't be such a dumbass. <laughs> Police women's toilets is a four star. I just saw the Yolanda dress. Yeah. Isn't that the outfit? That it's a backyard surprise. <laughs> um, dete- it was a dete- uh, police chief Yates, I think yeah. his name was. He was he that went the one with the orange dog yeah. yeah, yeah. He went undercover yeah. to like get those that are solicited. Um, that are like, fuck. I'm trying to think of the word. He's looking for those that are like getting prostitutes and then arresting them. So oh yeah, so he dressed as a he dressed as one, but and he kind of gets over into he it. He went overboard. Like he like wanted to get gang banged. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. He, he even went as far as actually having a pimp. Yeah, I remember him shitting all the cum inside a bag of like a Ziploc bag. <laughs> uh, I forgot about yeah. that. The artisanal butt biscuit. <laughs> yeah, I forgot his name is Yolanda. <laughs> There's surprisingly a lot of things that you can try to get in. Uh, the police station. A cheesing vial? Yeah, that's for um Kyle's dad. Okay. Like, like we went over it, but it's like it's the episode where the kids are into cheesing, where it's like they they have cats spritz spritz urine in their faces. Yeah. I and then they the just truck. and then they just get like really high. I don't take pits. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a drug in a way. It's a drug. And right I've there, I've never heard a cat urine doing that. Oh, that's that's probably it, the joke. Oh. It, yeah. <laughs> And um, you s- the the thing that's the paper that's like going through the wind there. That's where you can post the headshots. Huh. Uh, Father Maxi g- found the Catholics again. <laughs> so there's eight headshots you had to put up around town, and then you'll be able to actually get a selfie with him. Hmm. Eight headshots. So you're putting different pictures on top of that board. Yeah. Is that what's going on? Did you already put Mr. Adams there? Okay, there you go. Oh yeah. God. And then, like the main thing that we that we get is to see what's in his bottom drawer. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, the uh, winning when, prize. When posting all those uh, headshots around the town. Yes, and we okay. get to see what's see, in his I bottom drawer. I would think drawer. that by posting the photo in like the wanted area, I think the cops would mistake him for like a criminal, and he get arrested. <laughs> Good, if he is we're deserving of it, that is. He, I don't know who Mr. Adams is. He, he's why. he's just an innocent counselor wanting to be a stand-up comedian. Yeah. So now I feel like an asshole. Then again, South Park cops are stupid. <laughs> that justifies putting an innocent man behind bars. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they're stupid. <laughs> so it's uh, it's not a it, it's not above them. Yeah, uh, beneath them to uh, do that sort of thing because they're idiotic. Yes. Triple fiber beef power bar. Ugh. My ass just expands at the idea of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thrills me to detain here. So it does. Yeah. There might be something else actually. See, there's a Mr. Adam thing right there. It's just kind of waver. Okay, there it is. So it's. I guess it's. Uh, are there other hints like that where he, if you see a torn up Mr. Adam? Yeah. Thing. He like, also he also tells you which location you can go to next so that you can put it in. Oh, uh, okay. So like right there, he tells you you can go to the community center. Okay. So then you go to the community center, post the bullet, post it on the bulletin board. Boom, you get your next location. Okay. So it's pretty hard to fuck it up, really. You can use your snapping pops to ignite things like fireworks. Ooh. Give it a try. Or you just sock them in the fucking dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got him. Did you edit that battle? Yeah, I did. Okay, okay, I'm sure. I didn't. I didn't want to. I have to ask because there are some games that like to do the Earthbound route, where yeah. if you're way higher level than the encounter that you're fighting, you automatically win the battle. You don't do that here. You don't do that here. No. Okay. But um, prim- I didn't. I didn't want to interrupt Towley, so that's why I did that fade. Oh, okay. Because like he was talking, I wanted to be courteous. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sorry, I, I like having Towley as a gaming bud. <laughs> like like I said, he just gives you tips when they're relevant at the time. So in the point of that, ah, yeah, it Did it you worked. Did you say that Mr. Towley was something locked behind something? It was a pre-order, yeah. A pre-order. Uh, why lock something behind that like DLC? 
money. Like a gaming yeah. Buddy. Yeah. I mean, the obvious answer is obviously money, but uh, it's like, but money. a gaming buddy? Money. Is that how spelled M U N N Y? M O N E Y. M O N E Y. M O N E Y, yeah. Spelling it right. You're no fun. Oh, yeah. Unplanned Parenthood. Remember when I took out the Nazi baby fetuses? I do. Those were the days. I can't believe I have one of you monsters inside me right now. Well, not for long. Sorry. Pretty topical. Out on the highway. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is Colorado, yeah. though, not Alabama. So. Also, if you, listen to, Colorado, we'll get, if you listen to the song playing, it's, yeah. that, it's the song from Lord. What is it? When Lord. Randy dressed when up Randy as Lord. Up as Lord. Oh, so all he's saying is Lord, right? No, this is an actual song that, that Lord performed. Song. Okay. But see, I remember... I am Lord. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I think that's all I remember him saying. Like, Because it, it should be said that even though I have not watched South Park as often as I did in the uh, early 2000s, uh, late 90s, uh, I would still catch a few episodes because uh, my roommate Jacob, we he used to catch me up on that sort of thing. And every time I go to Pittsburgh for New Year's, we watch a couple of episodes of South Park. So yeah. I have seen some of the more recent stuff, but nowhere near as much as I would want to for the sake of getting every fucking reference in this game. Oh, it's Captain Hindsight. <laughs> oh, and he he retired his days of being a superhero. So he's just mild mannered reporter. Or? He's part of the South Park Gazette. South Park Gazette, you works for a newspaper. Yes, he's like to he's like I was gonna say Toby Maguire. Yeah, he's like Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> we can get a selfie with him, but we're not real superheroes yet. We're junior heroes. <laughs> junior heroes. Sorry, kid. Come back when you've got more clashes under your superhero belt. That, you can already guess what he means by that. Yeah. And that song playing, it was Kanye West. <laughs> See that golden bag there up top of the... Yeah. I can't reach that oh, yet, though. <laughs> What's the song? That, that's the anti-bullying <laughs> song. <laughs> like, it, was, it was the anti-bullying episode, and he was making a music video that would, that would be airing. And there's the member berries again. The member berries. Yeah, they're they're around town. So y if you find them, it's gonna it's gonna help you level up. So we say we try to meet up with with a uh, Clyde, cause raisins. <laughs> well, I don't get that. <laughs> like, like remember um, when I was talking about that we had to find out his kryptonite. We had to go. To, we had to find Clyde for that. He's at raisins. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a cat. <laughs> we can't. We actually can't get him yet. But that's What's the cat. Yeah, we need a certain power up for that. But that's gonna lead to another side quest, actually, with Big Gay Al. All right. <laughs> it was like um, that side quest. He he lost his. All the cats are like his six cats. They they ran off, all because of the sixth graders. So. Me being me, I'm the only one that can actually do it. <laughs> and I can't go up there yet. <laughs> uh, it, it's kind of weird, because I would think the firecrackers would be enough to dislodge the ladder. Nope. <laughs> but uh, apparently Oh, yeah, not. medicinal fried medicinal chicken. Medicinal fried chicken. Fucking going Ed 209 security <laughs> measures there. Surprise, it doesn't malfunction. Presents hall pass. <laughs> Right here. You have 20 Second seconds. warning. <laughs> to Presents hall pass. Right here. And there's more member berries over there. Remember the Wonder Twins? I remember I love the space monkey. Yeah, remember? Remember that? Remember when Wonder Woman had an invisible jet? Oh, I remember that. I completely forgot and Wonder Woman. is that Woman. their entire stick? It's yes. Like it, that they is, just remember they just things remember from back then. From the 70s and 80s. They, they that, feel nostalgic. That Trey Parker and Matt Stone obviously want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> And this is Raisins. What was it, like Hooters? Yeah. Hi, welcome to Raisins. Just one of you today. Welcome also, to um, kitty. one of the um kids that's actually sitting in, like in the tables is actually the same voice oh, actress for Tails. Psychic superheroes. Like, Sorry, I'm only into I think it's the orange-haired oh, one. Oh, God. What? I, uh, oh. Like, oh, 
Sorry, I'm no, the no. <laughs> <elemental>. <laughs> it, you heard it, right? No, not that. No, I'm just thinking. Of <laughs> is raisins a reference of what I think it is? Yes. Okay. What? Hooters, Elliot. Oh, yeah. All of the waitresses are students. Yeah. Basically, they're they're from the school. Basically. Okay. Pretty much. I, I, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those, sure, like, uh, on <laughs> one of those horror logic, but like fridge logic <laughs> <laughs> thing, uh, moments you have. Bye, women. What superhero are you? Super? Wait. Oh my God! The mission. My fellow superheroes. I've completely forgotten. Back away, temptresses. Mosquito knows what you were trying to do. Uh, what are you talking about, kid? The raisins girls are mosquitoes' kryptonite. You gotta get me out of here. Uh, well, okay then, here's your bill. <laughs> I think not. You tried to charm me, I will not pay this bill. You have to leave a tip, asswipe. They aren't going to let us go without a fight, kid. Let's do this. Yeah, we gotta fight raisin girls. Because oh, what? Because well, they're trying to uh, stiff them on the check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, uh, you're justi they're justified in one that, you know, give you a shit. If you listen closely, it kind of sounds like the Powerpuff Girls theme. I can't leave now. I got a pitcher of lemonade on the way. All right, so now he's charmed, which would mean when someone's charmed, they fight on the other side for about so a turn. They're confused. Yeah, well, essentially. Well, no, not confused, because nope. it, I would say. Yeah. yeah. And, pretty <laughs> and pretty much we can, we can either use a an antidote to help him out, because that's a debuff technically, yeah. or we can just beat the shit out of him, but at the risk of him losing health. Well, I mean, that's always a thing. I mean, in Final Fantasy, if you're confused, you either heal them with an item or you... Or you uh, shiv you, each other. Yeah, you, you shiv each other. Shiv, or no, yeah. you shiv them. Or he shivs himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Which is funny because I always get the impression that he shivs forward, but he still stabs himself in the gut. <laughs> How? <laughs> Every time I play, though, the charm usually happens for, like, one turn. Oh, so it's temporary. Yeah. Okay, so it usually confused status or in... Uh, Charm status are usually permanent until they either hit each other or you take an item or they uh, you give them an item. Yeah, but like in this case, it's just one turn, which I'm kind of glad for it personally. So let's give we're gonna get some. I was wondering what the hell that was about. Oh, that looked like a damaging attack. I, was like, I, I, I know. I, you can get a defensive buff out of that. It gives him protection. That's what matters. We we don't want him to get charmed again. So, is it uh, is it particularly dangerous to leave them alone for a time? Like, do they have some sort of super attack? No. Okay, they're just there's just four of them, and you gotta deal with them. Right. Yeah, that's okay. that's literally it. The thing with with uh, Mosquito, he's more of a life drain character. So a lot of times his attacks would would take away health, but it also goes to him. He's more about debuffs. Yes. You could say. Yeah, that that's actually a good way to put it. Ooh. So, took 12 from the Raisins Girl, but the 12 goes to Clyde. Okay. I'm not really invisible, but my atoms are vibrating too fast for you to see. Give him hell, douchebag. I feel like, I wonder if that's the actual, like, logic to it. What do you mean? His atoms are vibrating so fast that he can't be seen. Well, I mean, that's how the Flash moves. That's how the Flash, flash vibrates through uh, material. Oh, he, he, he's, I, he vibrates so fast that his molecules phase through objects. I never actually, like, like got too deep into, like, the flash, the flash. Is, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I don't. Most of my flash lore comes from the Justice League cartoon. Yeah. The Justice League. Cool. Unlimited. Yeah. I was just trying to figure out what to do on this one, but I get. Yeah, giving Clyde another protection. I'm gonna show you how we put the double whammy in our double whammy wings. Damn. It's okay. Kyle's still alive. That's what matters. It's, Kyle's losing health though. Like he's uh, he's on death's door now. Yeah, he'll be fine though. That's doorknob. That's doorway. Remember, it's not it's not game over until everyone in my party dies. True, true. But still, I don't want to use anybody. I know. And now he's gonna get charmed. He's gonna get charmed. Thankfully, it's not his turn. Right? Yeah. So we're we're gonna show um uh, Clyde's ultimate attack. Oh. Does de plenty of damage and gross out. Now, why did Kyle faint, though? Because he was charmed. He was charmed. Oh, okay. He was with the other side oh, okay. for a bit. Okay. 
I thought it was like, is an area effect that everybody gets affected if they're in this. Are there any attacks like that? No. Where it doesn't care if you're friend or foe, if you're in the area of effect, you're going to get hurt? No. Okay. It's, it's very lenient with so that. It's so it's impossible to injure yourself. Yeah. Literally. So it's like you do like an attack like that, and then there's someone on my party that's there. Okay. Doesn't get affected. It only hits those that are enemies. Do you know if higher difficulties change that? I do not, but I feel like it might do that. Okay. <laughs> It won't matter much, though, because, like, she's burning. At the end of the turn, they burn. So, yeah. <laughs> but now it kind of leads into a small problem. What's going on? Which is? Raisin's girls are going to be pissed. Of course. You just beat them up. Because you, from their perspective, you tried to stiff them on the bill. And you did, really, because you didn't pay them. They paid you. <laughs> you got money out of that. Apparently, like, Clyde's, like, the, the <laughs> one to go to, so it's like, <laughs> I can't be invincible. It's not fair. And boring. He just has no idea what to call him in this point. Yes, I, I wanted to go with crap people for this crap one. Crap people is your kryptonite? Yes. Because crap, crap people are, are like no joke. <laughs> what, in battle? Just just in general. <laughs> well, in, okay, I, I know what they are in, in, in the context of the show. Yeah. But are they in this game? Yes, they are. Can you, do you fight oh, them in this game? Yes, you do. So why deliberately make them your kryptonite? I'm assuming that means they do extra damage then. No, it's they just don't. funny. What's the point of the kryptonite though? It's to fill the character sheet. Okay. You know, to be a proper superhero, you need these oh, certain okay. things. And now, because I got Clyde in my party, I could change in between different party members. Now, like, you can only have four in a party. Right. But, again, you can just change in between. Okay. But, yeah, we're going to call it a part here, and we're, we'll be back next time with more South Park, The Fractured Butthole.